Hello guys, welcome to the Hive Production. In this video, we are going to create a realistic animation of the airplane flying in the sky on Adobe After Effects. So let's get it started. First of all, I can show you these airplanes in my Adobe Photoshop and let me show you the layers. There are different layers of the body, wheels and their handles. And you can get that link in the description that from where I have downloaded this airplane. So here it is on the free pick, this model. And uh, I have textured with the PIE model and this was the output which I have created. So it is a lovely animation you can see the airplanes is flying in the sky from runway so let's create this and i'm gonna take a new composition and we'll take uh, let me have some 8840 by 3160 resolution which is the big canvas now i'm going to import by holding control i and i will import first runway here in this composition and we'll set the runway from the bottom of the composition so that will help me uh, to give the surface where my airplanes can be fly another thing I'm gonna import is sky and we'll adjust sky throughout the scaling press as for the scale and just adjust them and bring on the bring on the layer of back of the runway so here we can see one thing let me show you there is a problem in this uh, runway so we have to create some mask because uh, you can see there's a fade out uh, feelings on the contact of the sky and the runway so I'm just creating the mask to create some sharp edges in it and I'm making this on fast forward mode without wasting this time so now I have completed my mask and you can see there's a sharp edges according to their surfaces and the contact of sky and runway so now this time we have to import main thing which is my airplane and uh, I'm going to put my airplane here first scale their size adjust them and uh, also you need to rotate them by holding R key and uh, also you need to set that it has a straight so by getting grit on this place and and now I'm pressing P for the position giving key and after 10 seconds after 10 seconds and now the plane must move from right to left so let me show you this is the basic animation that plane is moving from right to left side but we don't need to move only we only we also need to rotate them so I'm gonna rotate press the key here and uh, on this part I'm going to rotate like that it is trying to fly We're walking on the runway and it is trying to fly so we need to adjust like this and I'm gonna take on the top of the sky so it is actually flying let me show you that this is okay and it is rotate and now it's flying on the sky that's perfect but we need to adjust uh, their rotation their position manually it's not a calculated uh, animation it's uh, you have to turn this manually so for me in the plane was taking too much time uh, for walking on the runway so I have decreased the time from four seconds to three seconds and make some rotation as well like this and on on the f and on the four second six second eight second you have to adjust the animation and more than 10 seconds just go forward more go forward 
like it is flying and now going straight so on this point I'm going to adjust their rotation as well like this and on seven seconds the rotation must be the same and now it's getting back on the straight rotation which was eight minus seven minus five okay so let me see the output like this now it's totally wrong we have to adjust their rotation so on the two second I'm going to make them straight now it's getting rotate okay so this one has to be low okay at this point it's getting turn rotation okay on this point I'm gonna give some rotation straight like this so let me play this uh, let me see the output by adjusting the path I think that was uh, no I think uh, it's too much rotating I'm going to adjust path a little bit under underneath and uh, also we need to adjust rotation so here I'm going to adjust my rotation 16 and and uh, let me play okay that's much better much better but one thing let me make me confused that this seven second has the 28 percent rotation which is not good 16 percent is okay now it's getting proper rotation okay so now it's getting fly like this now it's properly flying and this one okay so perfect first of all import the clouds most important thing that is exists in the sky and i left this cloud uh, and i will find control i and more three clouds and three of them import in my composition i just manually and in this in the sky this one has to be like this and the bigger this cloud must be on the top of the airplane so I can show airplane is in the clouds so I'm gonna select this bigger cloud like this let the cloud here that's perfect okay control I and import this vector image of the airplane I have downloaded from the Google so throughout this image I'm going to create shadow so you will have to adjust with the help of rotation and uh, you will have to take this shadow under the airplane to create the contact of airplanes and the runway so by holding S press scaling and position you will have to adjust their perfect position now hold the key on the position and uh, like this okay so after one second or maybe after two seconds you will have to bring the shadow with the aeroplanes we can do this in other ways as well but here's the shortest way for me I don't want to track this I only want to give some manual animation so on three seconds the same position under the aeroplanes and on five or four seconds I think uh, five seconds must be good so we need to adjust these aeroplanes like 
this because shadow cannot fly so this one has to be adjusted under the airplane so uh, I think we don't need to create 10 second animation of the shadow because shadow will not be appear when the airplane is flying so I think this uh, uh, this animation is good I'm gonna give a 60% no I think 85% shadow okay so now let me see this airplane okay we have three things in it handle and wheels as I told you in the beginning of the video uh, so I'm gonna give a color of the layer background layer because I want to rotate my wheels because the when a airplane is trying to cross the runway so of course the wheel has to be rotate so I'm going to select my back wheel first and this one handle so back wheel two and take the pan tool bring the center point here in the center of the wheel like this and press R for the rotation give the key and after 10 seconds it has to be rotate like in this way but I think I'm gonna give five times rotation let me play the rotation oh it's actually getting a reverse I, I don't want to reverse rotation so I'm gonna give a, a minus five rotations that's okay let's uh, uh, we can play this that's perfect now it's getting on the fast forward mode and don't uh, be worried about this quality uh, it's moving perfectly I'm gonna keep center the same thing back wheel to pan behind tool create their center point first like this like this and uh, now press R for the rotation press the hold key and after 10 seconds the same minus 5 rotation okay now this wheel the front wheel like this so same thing you will have to adjust your center point first like this press R rotation and give the 10 seconds and minus 5 so now these three wheels can spin we need to create control shift C pre compose because after moving and they will go inside of the airplane because when the time of the airplane is flying the wheel goes inside so now like I can see I so I can see these wheels can rotate okay so on this point on four or five seconds I'm going to go to the composition press P for the position hold the key on the position and after one or two seconds like this at least here go back to the pre-compose and their position must be inside of the aeroplane like this like this so as you can see the wheels was out of the aeroplanes but when the time of flying by the time of flying aeroplane okay so let's uh, play this I think we should have a problem of their quality so when it's time to flying you can see the wheels goes inside the wheels goes inside okay I'm going to take a new composition with the HD size 192.0.1080 and uh, in that composition I will import my composition one where I have already 
said these all the things with the big composition. So what am I going to do? I'm going to get, convert them into 3D and I'm going to take camera, uh, which has to be 35 mm. And I'm going to give the name is called airplane camera. After giving the name of airplane camera, I'm going to put the key on point of intersect and position and take this white axis camera. And here is my airplane. Okay, so here is my airplane and uh, I'm going to take four second and we'll go to the cross like this more six and uh, six second or eight second we'll have to go on this way here and more 10 seconds you have to go on this way here so I'm just going to play this that how it looks so here it is my animation something like this okay on the five second adjust them but one thing let me show you these black spots I need to adjust their uh, uh, this black screen part which was totally not good and uh, on this point so I'm going to hit here I don't want this black key part so adjust the airplane properly okay little bit you will have to adjust something like this now it look pretty cool that we have flew this airplane so I'm gonna give the scale of the size and let me show you the wheels of the plane inside of the airplane so now it's getting fly in the sky that's a perfectly done and I would like to say thank you for the watching this tutorial. Let me give some little bit adjustment that the background is totally clear. I'm going to apply uh, effect because when we uh, when we shoot every ever in the speed so the background must be blur. I'm going to apply directional blur here and uh, in the effect control I will see the 90 degree direction and will increase their length blur length so as you can see the background is blur now I'm gonna give 25% or 30% so this background is blur before that it, it was not but now this background is blur so it is showing some little bit of speedy thing that the plane is running I'm going so in the end I would like to say thank you so much for watching this tutorial and if you like this so subscribe to hive production and press the bell icon thank you